Thank you. Thank you, Ricky. Uh, first and foremost, I would like to give thanks to the Most High, uh, my mother, my children, my ancestors, both known and unknown, the wonderful administration who invited me to come out and speak to you guys. And also, I want to thank you in advance for all of your attention. And I know now it's tough to follow out that energy that, that Ricky displays, but hey, I got to be myself. But I appreciate that, Ricky. And I'll do my best, you know, to stay engaged with you guys down there as well. I know how it is kind of being afar from the center. But a little bit about myself, you guys, um, as Ricky alluded to earlier, not quite work. Would you mind going to the next slide? As Ricky alluded to earlier, um, I'm originally from Holly Springs, Mississippi. For those who may not have heard of that uh, booming town, it's about 30 minutes north of Oxford and about mm, 20 minutes south of Memphis. Real tough area. I mean, I have to navigate a lot getting to where I am today. So tough, I told the young man that I mentioned him today, I got a phone call this morning, all right? And he told me, he said, Coach, you know, he, he was a little down about himself. He said, I just lost my best friend last night. And that happened in my hometown. That, that's what it is. That's the reality of it. So just to you know, be able to navigate those hurdles and be where we are, very grateful of that. Went to Southern Miss, understanding that that life was not what I wanted. I'm very grateful for it. Uh, you know, poverty stricken town. My mom, she worked at uh, NAIA in a cafeteria. Uh, you know, she, she, she's a great person, phenomenal person. Never stole a thing in her life. However, how we ate growing up, we had to, you know, she worked in the cafeteria, so she would go to the back and bring us food every night. I didn't know it then, but I was eating school lunches for dinner. That's how we grew up. Um, entrepreneur, I'll put that right there because I'm not just a quote unquote financial advisor. And I tell people often, um, I'm not defined by a title. A title does not define me. I'm a man, I'm a person before anything, man, son, father, that's how I live, live my life. Leading into this last slide right here, who am I? What am I? I'm a son. I'm a dad. I'm a student. I'm a leader. We'll see it in the slide after this, but as above, so below. We're speaking to you right now, but in actuality, you guys are grading me. We'll talk about that later on. Sorry about that, sorry about that. All right, when, when, we, when we talk about finances, wanna speak on your, your pads, those things are great. I understand where you guys are. As a college student um, at Southern Miss, I did an August, I sent Rick at the paper, August 4th, 2009. I had a one week mini session I'm not positive if they still do that here. Do you guys have mini sessions? It's work, you say what now? You don't. So a mini session, is anybody familiar with that? A mini session is where you go to a class for one week for 40 hours. And you, you get the full semester credit for it. Mine was, uh, I forget the name, I think it was budgeting and finances. That was the final class of my career, I mean my college, career and it changed my, my immediate future because I did exactly what you guys are doing. What you're writing down, it's not about today, not about tomorrow either. I challenged myself. When I put that on paper where I envisioned being years from now, I wanted to look back 2019 to see where I was, okay? Because being football players is all the same, sports, life, uh, finances, you got to have goals. I mean, you're not just going to wake up out the bed every day and just say, here we go again, or at least you shouldn't. If you're putting on this uniform, if you're putting on this uniform every Saturday or whatever day you may play, it should be one goal in mind, uh, win a national championship. If you don't think you can do it, you won't do it. It's just that simple. And I'll I'm, I may be saying some things that you guys heard time and time before, but that's what good coaching, that's what coaching is. Coaching is like parenting, it's repeating itself. You may hear the same thing from different voices. Same exact thing with finances. Finances are life, okay? Commitment, commitment. If you want to be a national champion, if you want to be a, a billionaire, I don't like when people tell me they want to be millionaires. Why, why are you going to cap yourself? Why? 
Why do you just want a million when you can get a billion? Not saying that's likely for everybody, but why put a cap on yourself? Because that will be the highest you can go. You have to be committed to the process. Be committed to the process. Everybody, nobody who, who's suiting up every Saturday, we'll just stick with Saturday, is, is, is saying that they don't want to win the game. But what are you doing to ensure that you're giving yourself the best chances to win the game? What are you doing to ensure you're giving yourself the best chances to be that millionaire if, if that's what you desire to be, a billionaire in so long? Expectation of hurdles. And I won't go in depth into all these slides because they're quite self-explanatory. But hurdles, again, just like life, same thing. You're going to have those. You just got to fight through it. Nobody in life is going to be smooth sailing. Consistency is key. And, and just like this championship we keep speaking about, in this particular case, that's your reward. When investing, being, being smart, being, you know, thinking ahead long term, your reward is going to be the legacy you set for your ancestors, your children, and so on. So when I say something like, you know, I respect and appreciate my ancestors, both known and unknown, as above, so below, I am not here because of me. I used to think that way. I used to be like, you know, I did this on my own. I came from a small town, so and so and so and so. Absolutely not. There's people who paved the way. And we have to always remain conscious of that and give back. Why am I here? Ricky mentioned, uh, you know, I was with the basketball team. Enjoy my time here. Enjoy my time here. I'd be flat out lying to you guys. If I said I'd sit at home, now I'm not cheering against anybody, don't get me wrong, but I'm not the biggest, I wouldn't, I'd be lying if I said I was the biggest Colorado State fan. I'd be lying. I'd be lying. Why am I here? I'm here because I wrote about this Years ago, 10 years old, to be, well, I was 10 when I said it, 18 when I put it on paper, 23 when I typed it out and sent it to Ricky. My, this life I live is not about me. It's not even about just my family. It's about all of you. That's why I'm here. Because wh whatever you put in is what you will get out. That's finances. So you won't really hear me speak a lot about specifics. From a regular, regulatory standpoint of view, I'm not able anyway. So the things I say, whatever resonates with you, stick it, write it down, okay? And it might, might show up later in life, all right? And speaking a little bit more about finances, uh, budget. I see this so much. I was speaking with Jim earlier today. Uh, you guys, I know you get that nice monthly stipend, right? Y'all pretty much enjoy that? <laughs> So with that, how many of you, don't, you don't even have to raise your hand, just answer in your head, don't want to put anybody on the spot. How many are you taking a portion of that money and sticking it to the side? Don't, don't raise your hands. How many of you guys are just spinning it to zero because you know you have it coming a few, few days later? Okay. So what I did, I remember give you a quick story back when I was in high school. This is how I thought. Somebody reminded me of it last year. Um, they were selling slushies for 75 cents. I was on free lunch. We all, mostly all were. They were 75 cents. And, and people wonder why I never got one. I said, well, if I spend 75 cents every day, five days a week, that's essentially $5. Five times four is 20. 20 times, I say 10, 12, 200, $240. And then if you do that times four, four years, that's a grand. If I take that same grand that you're spending on ice and water over a four year period, at the time, I didn't know anything about investing. I wrote in my notes that, that Rick had seen from my class that I wanted to one day eventually give back to not necessarily quote unquote, um, you know, people who, I wanted to give back to those who are doing something for themselves. Doing something for themselves. And although football and academics was key to us being here, we have to use that tool, as I use basketball, to help elevate us to the, to the next level. But just that, for, that foresight at that particular age, that did not change when I became 18 years old. That did not change when I became the age that I am now, freshly turned 35. We always have to think ahead. Self-debt, what do I mean? Exactly what I said. Just like you pay your phone bill 
every month, just like you're going to pay your cable bill, just like you're going to pay your rent. Be in debt to yourself. Pay yourself. If you paid yourself every month, like, you know, Willie, Gl what's your name, my man? Thomas. Thomas. So, Thomas, if you said, okay, man, I got to pay my Thomas bill uh, at, the, at the first of every month, $50, $100, $200. If you did that for the rest of your life until the age, the standard retirement age of 59 and a half, you're going to be grateful for this conversation and all others you had before that. Wouldn't you agree? Mm -hmm. Absolutely, absolutely. Educated guidance. Educated guidance, what do I mean? I, I know what you guys see on Facebook, Twitter. You know, I, I, I'm not able to speak specifics, but I see the Bitcoins and the Robin Hood and things like that. Here's what I have to say about that. If Tiger Woods needs a coach, Thomas needs a coach. You need educated guidance. When searching for a financial professional, you want to at all costs make sure it's best to make sure that they are properly or fully licensed. I mean, for you to get all of the, uh, and I'm watching what I say, which is, you know, I'm talking like this, for you to get the benefits most prudent for you, you have to choose the correct professional. And that's something that after this, you guys can uh, get my email. I'm willing to talk to any of you, all right? You reach out any time and we can speak more specifics individually. Next slide. All right. You're in the interview every day of your life. We hit on that earlier. What does that mean exactly? You never know who's sitting beside you. There could be a future tycoon in here. And yes, I'm speaking right now. But if, if, if that resonates, think about your, you know, by show of hands, how many of you guys play football before the ninth grade? Okay, so pretty much all of you are a great majority. Now, I know for a fact that you remember, you know, all of your teammates. You remember their strengths and weaknesses. Is that fair to say? And that's X amount of years removed, at least about, we'll say 10 to be said. I mean, you got, we'll say about, about seven or eight years. That's fair. It doesn't go anywhere. And you know who you will feel comfortable. I, I like the way you're looking at me. You, you're not, not saying I'm just seeing you because you're right here, but that says you're listening, you're engaged, and you're being receptive. The mind is a transmitter and receiver, and right now you, all of you guys are receiving. I'm transmitting. You guys are doing a phenomenal job. The thing is, you know of your teammates from junior high who you would or would not if you had a, a, a if, if you ran this state-of-the-art facility and you needed somebody punctual, you know right now who you would choose off your team. Yes, you do. Or at least you got a few people you would choose from. Same thing I'm doing with you guys. It never ends, okay? Put those good seeds in the universe. Uh, beliefs versus, versus reality. Belief is like what you guys are living right now, it's not reality, okay? That's not reality. What do I mean? You have a great support staff, a great staff who I know cares about your best interest. This is huge right here. We didn't have this growing up. We didn't have this much. I mean, football is one thing, but football will end. Regardless if you go to the NFL, if, you, if this is your final stop, football will end. Unlike basketball, it's mu increasingly harder for you guys to make it at that level than a lot of those guys would have in Euro deals and so on. Even if you do go to the NFL, with the salaries you get as a rookie, unless you're a you know, first round pick, and the taxes that comes with that, you have to think ahead because the, the lifespan of an NFL player, the career, is only a few years. And that's not being negative, that's reality. Always shoot for that, always shoot for that, but, but, but understand what if, what, what if you know, this happened, how am I prepared? Finances allow you to uh, you know, be on the forefront of that. Your only opponent, opponent is self. I'm not in competition with anybody. You guys are not in competition with anybody. Only yourself. That's it. What do I mean? Um, here's what I mean. I'm not looking, and I'm going to use Ricky because I know him personally. I don't, it doesn't matter to me what he has personally. I never even asked him, you know, aside from business. 
Uh, it doesn't matter what I have. I'm not in competition with him. Whatever my definition of success is, that may be working a nine to five. If that's what you want to do, that's okay. And if I'm so happen to be that tycoon, that doesn't mean I'm better than you or you are lesser than me. It's just that your branch of success may be different from mine. Okay? Thoughts are like route, route patterns. Just like you guys are putting in your notebooks, okay? Whatever you put in your mind, whatever you manifest in your mind, you're building your future with that right there. Just like your routes, just like a road. If you, if you say something like, you know, I can do this, I will do this, you're then telling uh, 30 trillion sales, you're, you're putting positive energy over your body. Now, if you say something like can't, won't, don't, try, that's negativity, and your body reflects that. Research it, okay? Always, whatever you want to be, put your mind to it and just do it. No excuses. Okay, skill six. I actually got this uh, from Kurt Angle. You guys are a little young, so you probably don't remember him. The three eyes. Anybody know that? The three eyes. You know, what, what are the three eyes? What's your name? Jatavius, can you tell me the three eyes? You got it. Intelligence, intelligence, intensity, integrity, intelligence, the three eyes. I was about 13, 14 years old watching him, and uh, I liked the way he wrestled. I, mean, I liked wrestling back then. And, and that just stuck with me. If you can do those things, have integrity, be intense, of course, in the right way. Integrity and intelligence, you'll go a long way. And we all are supremely intelligent. All of us are. Your brain has a million more terabytes of storage than the most advanced laptop computer out there. Okay? Like I mentioned to you guys early, you know, got the young man on my head. I'd be lying if I said if I didn't. A person would kill you for a PlayStation not realizing that your mind is worth more if we just work together. And somebody may see this in the future and be encouraged by this and, and want to do the same. And that's all we can do is plant good seeds. Okay, honest, loyal, fair, balance. Guys, I, I, I come from nothing. Holly Springs, Mississippi is not nothing, but uh, you know, it, it's not what a lot of people are born into compared to me. All of you guys, and I can say this for sure, are privileged. I know that for sure. Compared to my mother, my aunts, who, when they walk the sidewalk, this is in my, my lifetime. If a Caucasian was approaching them, they had to step off the sidewalk. That is a fact. So I can say my life is better than theirs on the surface level. It's also better than her parents and their parents, five generations removed from slavery. Okay? Proactively network. That's what we're doing now. Of course, I won't remember everybody in here. I didn't look anybody up. I don't know who's doing what. I don't know who's all conference. That doesn't mean anything to me. The only thing that matters to me is I know that out of all these men in here, I don't know the count, but I know I'm going to impact at least one person. I know I'm going to impact at least one person and through that, they may be able to impact the multitude. Plant those seeds. Reputations are forever remembered. That's what we spoke about earlier. So those people who you guys thought about, that you played football with in junior high, who you were called on to run this awesome facility, their reputation is cemented in you. And the only person who can change that is them. You're in the interview every day of your life. As above, so below. Whatever you put out, you will get back. I don't do things, uh, the best way to put it is like taking a charge in, in, in basketball or football, which is, I, 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 I have a football background too. I coach basketball, but I play football. I was a captain on my high school team. Um, and I helped lead them to the first overall playoff appearance ever. And we had um, a few, uh, well, one pro in particular, multiple D1 guys. Um, like I said, my town is really a hotbed for talent. 
I always knew a millionaire making money because because that's what this is about. You guys are probably thinking, well, he's not telling me how he's not telling me how you have to see deeper than face value. What do I mean? If a bird is flying over the ocean and you look at that ocean, you're just going to see pretty water. If that bird goes in that ocean just one inch, if he goes in that ocean just one inch, he may not come back out. Always look deeper than face value. This is something everybody can, can, can uh, you know, grow on. You don't have to be rich to invest, but you have to invest to be rich, unless you get a huge inheritance. That's very possible, very likely. And notice I have the word properly up there. Notice I have the word properly in there as well. I really want you guys to write this down. This is huge. Robin Hood, Bitcoin, you can, go, you can go work out. My son right now, nine years old, I can go tell him, son, if you want to go to the NBA, go work out. He can go do it on his own, but is he going to be where he needs to be if, if he didn't get that professional guidance? The proper guidance, he don't even know what he's doing. You know, it, just like coaching, just like you guys, you, I, I know you, we'll, we'll see what we see on social media. We dealt with it too. Everybody is a great coach from the stands. Everybody. Everybody. That does not change with investing. My profession. Some people, just let, give you some insight. Oh, what about this? What about that? What about this? Should we do this? Just like your coaches, we're, we're going to let you, we're going to tell you to do what's best for you. If that was best for you, then that's what we'll tell you to do. Okay? So always remember, if Tiger Woods need a coach, I need a coach. Self to self, don't compare yourself to anybody else. I don't wear fancy clothes, guys. I don't care what you guys think about me. I never bought a pair of Jordans in my life. I've been having this Under Armour shirt. Matter of fact, I got it off when we, uh, you know, I got it back in 2014, being a coach here, Under Armour, the shoes too. I'm not trying to impress y'all. I have four children, four children. I take care of their mom, been doing so since 2009. I have a $350,000 home here. I wrote down in my uh, book that I did that I wanted Alexis and Benz. Uh, you know, that's what I have. Everything is all paid off. I don't have a magic formula. Like, I'm just giving you guys my, what, what, what led me to being where I am, which I still got a long way to go. I'm just sharing what helped me. And from that, you might find a thing or two that can help you. Uh, what is success? We just spoke about that. A measurable result. The wealthiest man of all time. A little history in there. People see Jeff Bezos, Bill Gates, and so on. The wealthiest man of all time was Mansa Musa. $400 billion. $400 billion. You can do it. You can do it. Remember the why. What's your why? Regardless of what anybody believes, regardless, we all have a why. My why, you, you guys are my why. I just said, I didn't know what to believe growing up. You know, I, I, I'm telling you guys, like you have Google, you guys just have no clue. I'm young, but I'm really, <laughs> I mean, it, it, was, it was different. It was different to say the least. Very, very different. So I said, you know what? I just want to help make this world a better place because I don't like where it's going or where it is. You know, my town, Holly Springs, Mississippi, segregated Marshall Academy and uh, Holly High. That's where I went. Black school, white school. I was a part of helping to integrate that because uh, his name is Wade Griffin. He played with the Broncos. I believe he won a Super Bowl, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I went over there my senior year because I worked at a bank in high school at 17 years old. I, mean, I actually had my own business back then, too. But I needed to work out before I went to college. Because if basketball didn't work, then I was going to play football because I, I was going to do it. Now, that's just what it was. But he, he let me train in his facilities at the school because they were better than ours. And then we started to bring more and more of our athletes over. And now, shoot, we're, we're playing on the teams there. So, man, we, 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 we're brothers. That's what this is. We're all brothers. I like to say there's one race, and that's the human race. Okay? Uh, legacies are prestigious. Legacies are prestigious. All right, in closing, in closing, you're, you guys are going to get a sheet. Um, I sent this to you. 
This is what we have our actual, well, this is what I have my actual clients do. Um, you know, Edward Jones is a partnership, and I don't you know, speak on them much. I'm an independent contractor. It's a partnership, so I'm not an employee per se. I'm not representing anybody right now but myself. Um, and in order for you guys to get assistance and to help you with your monthly um, income to preserve some more money, fill this thing out. What can you do a little bit less of? Maybe it's wings from, from across the street. Maybe it's a burger. Maybe it's a little alcohol every now and then. Come on, I know y'all college students. But listen, what can you do to further help yourself? You know, you can do it right now, but if you do it right now, you have to realize like how much that's taken away from the future as well. Because how many of you guys are familiar with inflation? We know what inflation is, not insulting intelligence, but it seems like we know. Since 1920, since the 20s, inflation has risen 3.1% annually. So saving, guys, is not investing. Saving is not investing. If, you, if my great-grandparents would have put 100 grand uh, in, a, in, a, in a shoot, save for me back then, it will have the buying power of less negative 300% right now. Whereas if they would have simply put it in the market, okay, the market since 1790, 1790, since its inception in Philadelphia has done nothing but risen. Okay? That's all it's done. Over the last 30 years, we've had an annualized return of 10%. So let's go back 30 years, 100 grand. If we take away, what's that, 30%? That has the buy, buying power of 70 grand, not including taxes. Whereas if we invested that 100 grand, we're, we're up 30% right now. Does it make sense? All right. So I, I, I believe, I'm, I'm a full belief, for those who decide to fill this out on their own, you guys reach out to me individually. You can get my email address, my phone number. I, I don't care what you have. Just reach out to me, and we can help you not only for now, but set that, plant that seed for long term, long term, okay? Or, let me see. That's, lastly, lastly, here's what we want to do, okay? Have a positive impact. When I was at Colorado State, um, when I was with the basketball team, when I was at Southern Miss, man, those children, those young children, they idolize you guys. You're, you're their LeBron. You're their you know, Kyrie, whoever it may be. That's what you are to them. Always keep that in mind. Yeah, represent, you know, you want to represent your university for sure, but you want to represent your family, first and foremost, and yourselves. We don't want to do anything that can, can cause a negative impact for you know, the future because that child, you might, you might let that child down. Had I had a bad reputation, had I spoke, you know, the way I grew up, yeah, we talk slang and stuff like that, um, you know, but you have to adapt, you have to grow. We all have to grow, and I challenge and encourage you guys to all do the same, all right? Are there any questions, and I'm not leaving until I get one from anybody, no matter what it is. I'm sorry? Good question, good question. It's a paid off business. This is <laughs> and that's what's important. We don't want debt. Debt is not your friend. I'm an owner. But no, it's a, um, it's, it's a, a GLA, 2015 GLA. I'm not getting another car anytime soon. Uh, that's a, that's a, a quickly depreciating asset. Really good question. And we don't want to do that. It was just a goal I had. If I could do it all over, I wouldn't do it. Because it was a big way. It's, a, it's stupid. It's a depreciating asset. I would have got more of a uh, compact family vehicle versus something just sitting in the garage and I drive the other car. Yeah, but any, any more questions? Yes, sir. Why did you leave coaching to get into finance? Good question, good question. Uh, that was a little bit outside of my personal control, but I always, I, I always wanted to be a head coach by age 32, okay? If I set a goal and I don't reach that goal, I'm not going to harp about it. I'm going to create another goal that's higher and go get that one. And I still coach. I just won a national championship uh, with Thaddeus Young's program team, that out of Memphis. Uh, we did that before the COVID, COVID was last year. So the year before, 
So we, uh, you know, I coach high school All-Americans, future pros and things like that. I'm still actively involved, but it's not my primary pr profession per se. But thank you for the question. Any other questions? Yeah. No, good question, good question. And I have to be careful with treading on personal thoughts for regulatory reasons, but anytime you need that specific guidance, and I'm glad you asked that question, when looking for a financial advisor, all right, you, you, you have to, oh, let me see, I, I gotta just be careful, but, but you want to seek that guidance individually. So that question that you asked, Shoot me an email, we'll set up a time to talk, and I'll be glad to answer more directly for you. Anybody who would like the same, you have that same green light. But good question. What we got? Is this going to be a free consultation? Or? <laughs> yeah, no, that, that's, a, that's a good question. That's a good question. Different firms do different things. I know what you guys are. Realistically, I'm not, come on, I'm, I'm going to help you out. Like, I'm here to help. I'm not getting paid for this. I, I just want to help. If everybody in here took advantage of me and used me, I would be completely fine with that because I know my heart was pure. So you just reach out. If, if I don't tell you, that means you don't need to worry about it. And I mean that in the right way. You know what I'm saying, right? Yeah. Any other questions? Well, if no further questions, again, coaches, administration, um, young men, young men, because I don't say kids. Here's why I don't say kids. Because if... You rob a bank at 17 years old, you'll be on the front page of the newspaper, they'll say young adult. That mindset, if you go on that football field saying I'm a man, which you are, if you're old enough to go to war and die, you're old enough to, uh, you know, do other things. If you have that mindset of being a man, just a mindset alone would take you to levels that you, you, you probably didn't know exist. All right. I appreciate you guys. Thank you for your attention.